Oh, hello there. This is Jason Korlenko, Solve Violence. And today, we are going to be looking at that snaky little riff from our new song, The Tongue Removed. I'm using a seven string, uh, tuned to B standard. This riff is not technically that difficult to play. Uh, but there are a few things about it that make it a little bit tricky. Number one, the time signature. Number two, bleeding notes. And number three, number three, number three, uh, what's number three? Oh. There are probably a lot of different ways to count this riff. Uh, in terms of the time, but the way I like to think about it is section one, which is in six, eight, and then there's section two, which is in seven, eight. So if you think about the riff in that sense, this is what you end up with. That's six, eight, and then the next time it plays through, That's seven, eight. So the other way that you can think about breaking this riff down is it's sort of a standard A, B, A, C riff structure where the first riff and the third riff are the same and then the second riff and the fourth riff are different. So if you think about it that way, don't think about the timing of it because you're splitting it into fours and then twos um, and that'll just fuck you up. I'm fucked up just thinking about it. I'll do each one slowly so you can get an idea of how the riffs all sound individually. So the first riff. That could be the A. The B riff. That's the B. And then it goes back to A. I don't mean A is in the chord. I mean the A is in the riff. It goes back to that first riff. And then C. And number two, the bleeding notes. When I say bleeding notes, what I mean is that there's no space or as little space as possible in between the notes that you play. And that includes those little slides. What you want to hear is you want to hear all of the notes bleeding into each other. Like... And where that becomes especially important is on these slides. Because uh, what I used to do, I'm going to date myself a little bit here. When I was a kid, I used to take cassette tapes. I don't know how many of you people out there know about cassette tapes. You could unscrew them and pull the, the front of the tape off. And if you actually flipped over the, the actual tape on the inside of it and put it back together, it would play backwards. So I used to sit in my bedroom for hours and I would listen to all my favorite albums backwards all the time. And I just, I loved that sound of the kind of creepy sort of demonic sounding vocals and the, the atmospheric sort of reverse reverb swells of the cymbals, all the notes and all the sounds all sort of bled into each other in a different way than they do when it's played forward. So when I wrote this riff, I was trying to do something similar to that. I was trying to write a riff that is played forward but sounds backwards. You really have to make sure that there's no space in between these slides. So yeah, so you slide up. And you hear the difference there. The difference between sliding from this note into this note versus... And then number three, that groove. I started my um, musical journey as a drummer way back in the 1800s. I always loved the, the push-pull relationship that a drummer had uh, with the song in general. You know, you could really control the tempo and the feel and the atmosphere of a song by 
dragging the melody or uh, dragging the rhythm or really pulling or just kind of sitting into the pocket a little bit you know speeding up a little bit but then pulling back and and all these sorts of things so it was never really on the grid especially when i was playing because i was never very good at keeping time so with these slides you almost kind of pull into them in a sense right so when you when you get to this first slide you're going you're not it's not this we don't want that what we want is this if i could actually hit that note and you see what happens is i start when i'm pulling into that note i'm sort of doing this with my shoulders you know because to feel that to feel that groove it kind of helps to put your body into it put your body into it right so here's the riff the whole riff beginning to end slow So yeah, so that's it. That's the riff.